Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In 2017, Autodesk changed the way the Inventor presentation environment works. I'm going to show you in this video how the new environment works and some new functions to that environment. So now I'm over here in Inventor, so I'm going to go to New, grab my standard IPN template, so it's going to ask me to pick a model that I want to create the uh, IPN of. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one here that's all put together. Say open. So now a couple of different things that you'll notice are different. Over here on the right hand side I have the ability to display what they call snapshot views. And snapshot views are at a particular point in the animation how the file it looks at that particular moment and that is what I end up placing on my drawing for exploded views on drawings. Across the bottom I have a timeline so we've always had the ability to animate these and they were always sequential however we have a little bit more logical layout to how these work because we now have a timeline. So let me go ahead and add some tweaks to the the timeline so you can see how this all works. So I'm going to go here and say tweak components and it's going to work pretty much like the old environment did, just a little bit of a different interface and a little bit different overall functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these items, and I still get my coordinate system here, and I can still click and drag and pull how far out I want this to go. I'm going to go negative 10 for this piece, and it's going to kind of shoot it out in space. I'm going to come back to tweak components, and there's a pin here that I want to pull. I want to pull this out maybe 9 inches. And you'll notice down here in the timeline, I'm getting these little elements. I'm going to keep uh, pulling this apart here. So I'm going to go back to Tweak Components. I'm going to grab another element. Let me pull this out, let's say, 8 inches. And one thing to kind of note here is in the dialog box, it's asking me how long each animation should occur. And I'll show you some different ways to interact with that here in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to this. I'm going to grab these screws and pull them out. I'm going to hold down control to get a multiple selection. And this one, in this case here, you can see it kind of shot it out into the back. So if I come down to the the timeline and find that that element I can right click I can say edit tweak and that should have been a negative seven based off the, the orientation of the of the the coordinate system and actually that's probably looks a little bit too much let's change that again to say negative six so I'll keep pulling this apart Actually, one thing before I do that, there's another element here that I can capture the camera. So if I kind of rotate around to this orientation here, just to show you uh, something a little bit different here. And if I say capture camera, you'll notice that it puts into my timeline some sort of animation for that camera. So let me kind of tweak a few more components. I kind of reor or reorder these. I kind of got those two components backwards. So you can see here I can grab these and reposition these at any time. And I could even stretch one out if I wanted um, the animation of one to be stretched a little bit. I can grab this grip here on the in between or the end. I'm having trouble finding that. There we go. Now we can grab that. And I can stretch it out, and that would lengthen the amount of time that that tweak would occur. Let me edit this tweak and change the value. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here because I could I could keep going on and on and on, but um, I'm gonna kind of stop right here. The 
snapshot view basically is going to take a picture of what this looks like right now. And uh, so you can see I have that over here now. I just hit snapshot view and it captures that. So let me play this real quick. You'll see the assembly being pulled apart. And maybe because of the length of these, I like to maybe overlap them or stagger them a little bit. And that's exactly what I can do with these with these grips. I can have them overlap just a little bit. If I basically lengthen certain ones or even just shorten them. Shorten them but overlap them. Also, as you're dragging them around, you may notice here I kind of get some snapping points for it to show me, okay, I'm aligning up with certain elements. And because of all this, I'll have to move the camera rotation a little bit as well. It's right about here. So now if I play, So I didn't completely explode the view, but you can see how this works. Now, a couple things that I want to point out. There's three different outputs that I want to cover here. First off is the raster output. The raster output just creates a draw or a, creates an image of what I have on the screen at this moment in time. One thing that's kind of cool about this is I can have it create with a transparent background, which will, let me just save this here real quick to my desktop. And you'll see what that looks like. So here's that view. You can see it's all transparent in the background. The other thing is actually creating a video. So let me go here to video. And this is similar to what we saw before. And you can see a storyboard. I can save what kind of output do I want. If I have multiple storyboards, I can tell it which ones. I can tell it to start from a particular point etc 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 so I'm gonna go ahead and here say okay here it's gonna quickly play this okay so now it's done so if I play this now you'll see I have a video of that. One last type of output to take a look at is putting this on a drawing. So you can see that I have the create drawing view. So if I don't have the drawing started already, I can go ahead and hit create drawing view. If I already have the drawing started, I would just open it up, point to the presentation file like I normally would, and it would show me a list of my snapshot views. But I'm gonna go ahead in here and hit create drawing view. I gotta save it first. So now it's going to ask me to pick a drawing template. You can see now it is ready to drop that on the drawing, or the, my drawing template, and I can say OK. And there is my drawing view, and it's based off of that snapshot view that I created. One more thing I, f I wanted to mention about creating the video. Uh, you may or may not have noticed that the video played in order where it exploded this. If I go back to my video dialog box, this reverse. This is the thing that actually, it used to drive me crazy that my explosions would play in order to be exploded. If I check this reverse button here, it will actually play it in reverse order like it's being assembled, which is a little bit more in tune with what we saw back in the previous versions of the presentation files. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at my email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.